this extraordinary story. Uh, we've got this cryptocurrency shyster, Sam Bankman mm. Fried. I've got to say, I hadn't even heard of this guy until this week, but he seemed to mm. fool so many people. He was leading the second largest crypto exchange in the world, FTX. That's now, company is now filed for bankruptcy in the US. And the founder, Bankman Fried, it's been revealed he secretly transferred $10 billion of customer funds from FTX to his own trading company. A large portion of that total has since disappeared, according to Reuters. It's outrageous stuff, Douglas, but this activist was celebrated by the media and the business community and became the Democrats' second biggest donor. And he is funding everything you can think of. Global warming. It's one of the biggest problems that we have to tackle together as a world. COVID-19 preparedness. We have to be ready for the next pandemic. Neglected tropical diseases. More than a billion people suffer from them. We have to eliminate these diseases. And of course, animal welfare. Animals deserve to live just like we do. It's also why I'm vegan. Douglas, how did this character fool so many supposedly smart people? You know, Rita, it's so similar to so many stories you and I have discussed in the past, which is you can get away with anything in this era if you just cover it in this veneer of environmentalism, sustainability, equity, anti-racism, and a bunch of other stuff. And if you do all of that stuff, if you just coat yourself in the new religion you can get away with with fraudulent behavior of the most obvious kind hucksterish behavior of the most obvious kind that's how these guys have got away with it because they knew they realized what a lot of shysters have effectively realized which is you know if you talk the language of esg and you talk about sustainability and 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 and, and all that sort of thing then in the new era, it's effectively like putting on a, a, a monk's robe would have been in centuries past. People think, oh, this must be an honest and decent person. They seem to care about polar bears and and and, and more. And and so once you've done that, you can get away with anything. And and frankly, you know, all of history is filled with characters like this. It's just that in our era, there is this new religion which the most obvious con artists have cottoned on to. Cover yourself in that religion and you can do effectively what you like. You're so right, because this company's ESG ratings were quite high, much higher than legitimate co companies that uh, don't take the, uh, steal money from their customers.